You wouldn't believe how much money is sitting right beneath your very feet. Well, actually, where you are now, probably just 25 cents in some pocket lint. It's been 2,000 years that people have valued gold, jewels, silver, or whatever you could think of. And a lot of it has gotten lost because of reasons like storms. Strap up, grab your metal detector, and let's look at 10 hidden treasures that you could still actually find today. From Spanish galleons getting raided by Native Americans to Confederate soldiers raiding towns, there's a lot of buried treasure with hints you probably didn't know. Let's do this. Number 10. If you were a millionaire and had more money than you knew what to do with, you'd probably come up with some pretty wacky ways to spend it. For this super rich art dealer, that meant filling an actual treasure chest with gold nuggets and precious gems, and leaving it somewhere in the mountains for people to find. That's right, 87-year-old Forrest Fenn buried a chest in the Rocky Mountains years ago, and over 350,000 people have tried and failed to find it. In fact, after four separate people died while looking for the treasure, he even had to release hints to help people look safely. So what exactly do we know? Well, the treasure isn't underwater or near the Rio Grande River, and you don't need to go down any steep slopes or up any hills to find it. Apart from that, we don't know anything. So if you're planning a treasure hunting trip, remember, you've got 3,000 miles of mountain range to get through. Number nine. I don't know about you, but when I think of treasure, I think of pirates, and this next story definitely sounds like a pirate story to me. The tale goes that Spanish sailors went looking for pearls off the coast of Mexico, but when they saw a Native American tribe with baskets of them just laying around, they decided to trade for them instead. However, they tricked the tribe and made off with the pearls, and as revenge, the Native Americans attacked the ship. Legend goes, all the pearls ended up on another Spanish vessel, which was already full with different kinds of treasures such as gold and fine fabric. Unfortunately for them, but fortunately for you the viewer, the ship never made it home, and instead wound up inland buried in the California desert. Since then, the lost Mojave ship has been searched and searched for, and was last found in 1800 by an explorer who was never seen again. Many have ventured into the desert since, but the ghost ship has revealed itself to no one else. Number 8. Now the thing about treasure is, it's almost never found peacefully, and this is another story where violence is a uh, big part of things. I mean, if it wasn't for the American Civil War, this treasure would have stayed with the family it belonged to, and probably wouldn't be a lost legend today. Here's how it happened. Confederate soldiers raided a bunch of Unionists in Virginia and found a sack full of riches from one of the rich plantation owners. There were gold coins, solid gold candlesticks, and even jewels, as well as antique family heirlooms. It was very common during war for soldiers to take loot from people they pillage. So to no surprise, they took the valuables and bolted. It wasn't long before they realized they were about to walk straight into an ambush, however. So their logical plan was to figure out what to do with it. They decided to bury it between two pines in the woods of Fairfax County, and they even marked the spot with an X. Tragically though, almost all the people who knew the location were caught and hung during the war, leaving the last guy Moby to take the secret to his grave. All $350,000 worth of treasure is still out there for anyone who wants to look for it, and almost 150 years later, it's probably worth a lot more. Number 7. Did you pay attention to math class? Well, I hope so, because otherwise you have no shot at finding this treasure. The Beale ciphers have been around since the 1800s and have been connected to all sorts of famous people, but the treasure they promise has never been found. Just in case you don't know what a cipher is, the quick version is that it's a code, which could turn a string of meaningless letters or numbers into a message. There are three separate pamphlets with three separate ciphers, with the final one apparently revealing the location of the treasure. As for what the treasure is, it adds up to a cool $64 million, which 63 million in gold, a million in silver, and 13,000 in jewels. The pamphlets are actually readily available online if you think you could crack them, but if not, then don't worry. We do know the actual approximate location. The clues lead to Bedford County, Virginia, so start digging, because who knows, you might get lucky. Number six. I don't know what it is about Spanish gold, but a whole lot of it seems to have gone missing over the years. As for this particular treasure, the good news is that it definitely exists, but the bad news is that some of it has already been found. That's right, over $500 million of the mysterious gold is already gone, thanks to a treasure hunter called Mel Fisher who found it just off of the Key West Coast. And uh, by just off, I really do mean just off. He found the gold less than 160 kilometers away from the beach, which is pretty close by treasure hunting standards. Anyway, the treasure was supposedly lost when a Spanish ship was sunk during a hurricane, and there's plenty more to find. Like the original ship's log talks about 17 tons of silver bars, 128,000 coins, 
27 kilos of emeralds, and 35 boxes of gold. Meaning the value still out there is over $200 million. Worth a look if you're in the area. Number five. I've said already that a lot of treasure stories are pretty violent, and this one is definitely pretty dark. Most people have heard about the $35 billion worth of Nazi treasure that's hidden across Europe, but most people don't know where to start to look. One of the most popular theories is that it's hidden in an Austrian lake, where Hitler's most loyal followers hid it during the last weeks of World War II. According to legend, the gold is buried in the mud at the bottom of Lake Toplitz, over 103 meters below the surface. I've gotta be honest here, I wouldn't recommend looking for it either, as it's so dangerous there that diving has actually been made illegal. Not only that, but seven people have died looking for the treasure, meaning it'll probably stay buried for a long, long time. Number four, not all treasure was lost during hurricanes or wars. Sometimes people just forget to come back for what they've hidden. Apparently there's over a million dollars worth of treasure hiding in Elysian Park near Los Angeles. And the story behind it is actually pretty cool. During the 1800s, America was involved in a conflict with Mexico, and old, rich Los Angeles families were worried about their valuables. There wasn't many banks at the time, so the families decided the best way to protect their money was to bury it. Most of the treasure was retrieved when the war was over, but some just never came back, leaving the treasure underground somewhere in the park. Now, some of it has been found since, at least if the empty underground tunnels and mining equipment is to be believed. However, equipment suggests that some of it is still waiting to be found, at least if you have the time or the patience, that is. Number three. Every good treasure story needs a good name, and the treasure of Skeleton Canyon is pretty hard to beat. The story itself isn't bad either. It involves bandits, smugglers, and even a few betrayals. Here it is. A group of Mexican smugglers have made their way into the Skeleton Canyon, weighed down by treasure they had looted from a Mexican town. However, news of their loot had spread, and the famous Curly Bill Barocious gang made a plan to steal it for themselves. They surrounded the smugglers and murdered them in their sleep, but even though the treasure was theirs, they had no way to move it out of the canyon. They divided up as much as they could carry, but the rest had to be buried, and that isn't even the end of the story. Two of the gang members decided to double-cross their fellow bandits and hired someone else to move the treasure to a new location, taking care of their partners as well. Now the location is truly a mystery, but most believe it's still in Skeleton Canyon. Number two. Poverty Island might not sound exactly like a place full of riches and treasures, but trust me, the stories say otherwise. According to modern treasure hunters, the place is home to five separate treasure chests, which are stuffed to the brim with gold bullion and coins, which in total are worth around $400 million. As for how they got there, well, the tiny island in Wisconsin is a nightmare for ships to get to, and many storms have left boats at the bottom of the ocean. One of those ships allegedly belonged to French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte III, who sent a shipment of gold to Confederate soldiers that, thanks to the treacherous weather, never arrived. Number one. I've already said that Spanish gold has a habit of getting lost and turning up years later, and this story is no different. If the legends are to be believed, the water around Amelia Island is just full of gold and jewels, thanks to a Spanish ship called the San Miguel. The ship was trying to escape a great hurricane in 1715, but it ran aground just before reaching the island. There's even evidence, such as a furnace from the ship which turned up in fishing nets, cannons that were found at the bottom of the ocean, and gold singular coins that treasure hunters have actually found. According to those same treasure hunters, there's still way more to be found, and added up to the total amount of riches could surpass $2 billion. Maybe it's worth booking a holiday there after all. And there's our list on the top 10 hidden treasures you can still find today. Guys, there's been a new trend on YouTube of like people opening up dark web mystery boxes where you can literally spend like a ton of money and someone from the dark web will send you a ridiculous amount of stuff, whether it's crazy or stupid expensive. Click on screen now to check out the video we posted the other day of the craziest unboxings. I promise it's absolutely worth it. With that said, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to click the like button and keep it here on Top 5 Central.